I'm going to show you how to control your backlit keyboard um, to turn it off and on or to get it a little bright, a little, a little lower or to bring up the brightness and how to control your screen brightness also. So right now the lights is off so you can see the light, the backlit keyboard is on. So this is the main button you want to look for, your FN button. That button will basically unlock so that you can use and you can see it, it's really on there already. So the buttons that you're going to be using for your backlit keyboard is just press your FN button and then you can press, so right now it's on, so to turn it off you just press F3. So F3 will turn it down and off. To bring it up, you can press it once and you'll see that it's kind of low, press it again, it get brighter. So there's, and, and again, it get brighter. So there's about, about three stages to the brightness on there. FN and then F3. To bring it down turn it off f4 to bring it up and bright bright up so if you want to control the brightness on your screen you press fn and fn and f5 and 6 will bring it up and down so right now i can bring it up by pressing f6 to bring it up and f5 to bring it down so that's how you basically control the brightness on your screen so right now i'm going to bring it up fn to unlock and then f six to bring it up and that's it and that's it and guys that's how you do it that's how you control your brightness on both your backlit keyboard and your screen on your asus laptop so guys this will work for most newer asus laptops out here this is charlie like and subscribe any questions let me know and i'll try to help you guys out my asus laptop right now and normally you press fn and I have F3 and F4, so FN, F3 and F4, and that should control your your backlight keyboard on there. And right now, it's not. It's not working. Actually, I changed my hard drive, so I guess the software is not built in right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna go to Google and we're gonna type in ASUS support download and we're gonna go to the official and I'm in the US, I'm gonna to go to the US official support site. I'm gonna put in my my model number. So even though your model number, you're gonna put it in right up here. It's mine is the Q5. So this is my model number right here. So when you get, you either put in your model number or you search for your model, whatever, but when you find it, it's gonna come up on the side here. Uh, right here, download utility drive, you're going to download. So drivers and tools, you're going to click on your model. Choose Windows 10. And there we go. And you want to go down and look for, so this is the one you're looking for, ATK package, um, drivers and hotkeys. So let's download that. Yeah, it's gonna download. So you want to find where you where you download your package. You want to click on it. Click yes. Installation. Click next. Next. Install. Package is installed. You're gonna click close, and then you have to restart. You restart your computer. You're gonna say yes. Now that you download your driver, you're gonna press F N and press. Um, you're gonna use F3 and F4 to control your backlit keyboard. So your F F4, you're gonna bring it up. That's the brightness all the way up. You can see it's lighting up right now. And then F Fn and F3 to bring it down. Let's say it's going down right now. And that's your fix, guys. Um, normally when this happens is because, like for me, it's because um, I put in a new hard drive in there. So I I all my drivers from Asus was lost. Guys, it's Charlie. Hope this, this helped. I'm out.